Hey there, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another food review by yours truly, Elmo on Elmo's World. Just like promised in the last video, I have a Southwest patty melt and I think I described the Southwest omelet and burrito fairly well. There's no omelet, there's no eggs to this. Um, Guess I better just get it out. Sorry the bag's a little old oil there. Alrighty. Now, per usual, they give you curly fries or regular fries. Large combo ends up coming to like nine dollars and something. Alright. And I got it right here. It's right here. And we're gonna open it up, and y'all gonna be the first ones to see it. If I can get the box open. There we go. Oh. Get it out. I love how they, they have never failed to quit using these little wrapper baggies. Now, this is a single patty, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if they have a double patty option. They might, but I'm not sure. Now. Obviously, on their toasted sourdough. I gotta take that wrapper off just a little bit so I can show it to you. Ooh, pepper jack cheese and mayo. Although the cheese is kind of slid to one side. I don't know. That wasn't because I picked it up crooked either. That was. They put that cheese that way. Got to make sure I bite off that end. Get the full flavor. Ooh, ooh. There's another piece of cheese on the other side with jalapenos that sauce I told you about and oh, mayo and I think under this bottom piece there's a lot of sauteed grilled onions or something like that it's on the picture so I'm assuming they would put it in the burger but where the cheese is all bubbled up yeah that's where it is okay it's gonna be a really short review guys really short review Oh, honey. Oh, there you go. As you say, you didn't give me no napkin? Hmm. That sauce is a chipotle sauce. It goes really, really well with the burger. Getting the jalapenos out, too. The pepper jack cheese. Where it's not American, like normal. Like the heat. Pepper jack's never really been hot to me. I've never even felt anything off of it, I don't think. But the the fact that it's jack cheese, and I think the peppers flavor it a little bit, goes good on this. The sourdough, shining through, shining bright like a diamond. Uh, they put that sauce on both sides, I think. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of sauce. Jalapenos are good as ever. Charbroiled burger. That's what I like. Charbroil taste makes it reminds me of backyard grills and fire and smoking, anyway, smoking food, nothing else. So, <clears throat> with that being said, uh, this is really good. Y'all should go out and get it, try it. Right for yourself. Now, keep in mind that none of the restaurants I eat for, or I should say I eat at for these videos, are sponsored. I don't have any sponsors. I do this because I want you all to know what it's like and what's in it before you go get it. That way, you can kind of have a heads up that you may not like something that's in it, even though I encourage you to try it anyway. With this being like almost $10, though, that's that's a little bit more to lose than the $3 burrito that I got earlier. But, I've always been a fan of sourdough. I don't know why. But if you actually look up the process of how they make sourdough, it's kind of, in a way, stomach turning. But at the same time, if people really knew how alcohol was made, they probably wouldn't drink it. 
Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you haven't liked, like the video. If you need to subscribe, subscribe. If you need to share this with your family and friends, put it all over your Facebook, all over your social media. Go ahead and do that. If you want to know exactly when I post a video, hit the little ringy ding bell. And as always, thank you all for watching. God bless y'all. And see you next time. Uh, I wasn't ready yet. I was not ready yet. Okay. Hi, guys.